so hello everyone this is sumit kumar ja as kartik and i have given my intro so yes i have 10 plus years of experience my main expertise is biw uh, i have led with lot of projects in reno ford uh, right now in fca and maserati programs we have done it to and uh, right now i am leading the complete vehicle unit so that is all about my my experience so coming back to our topic that is fundamental of biw so uh, we will be have we will be talking more about uh, the things uh, the part and the design consideration in biw uh, before starting that the table of contents are as follows uh, introduction will be there biw components biw fabrication and biw fixture design so these are the four area where we will be talking so you can anytime uh, pitch in by dropping a message and asking if you have any doubt so majorly we will try to so uh, answer all your doubts at the end of the session so that is how it will go ahead so going ahead okay so uh, what do we understand from biw that is uh, like if uh, we see any car and you might have heard our a lot of time the biw biw body in white but what does it exactly mean so whatever body shell structure we have it inside the car including the class a surfaces uh, the body panels body surfaces everything when it joined together or the things which is welded uh, sp uh, uh, spot welded uh, bolted or weld uh, this kind of objects whatever you see steel or sheet metal those are uh, biw components so biw components why we have it is because we have a lot of component assembled on the body which have a lot of dynamics like uh, vibration movement uh, uh, kinematics so those kind of dynamics to just sustain and hold it together we have these kind of structures to transfer the loads whenever uh, the uh, lo uh, the loads we are getting from crashes from the dynamics of the wheels from the vibration or from the torsional rigidity of the car so that is also for that reason also we use it and we have some support structures in it just to uh, give a good support on structures so whatever what you see it here is all a BAW monocoque structure we don't have the uh, uh, like surface here but that is also a part of biw like the body side outer roof structure hood, hood uh, door outer tailgate or lift gate everything okay so uh biw uh things uh as i told it influences noise vibration and uh, harshness what we call it nvh thing we think about the crash worthiness like uh, whenever we design a car the designer the car should be safe uh, for the passenger at the same time it should be safe for the pedestrian and now we have crashes like mpdb uh, like movable progressive uh, deformable barrier those kind of uh, thing where you can see the image the two cars will come and collide. So your the car responsibility is not just to save its passenger. It at the same time, it, its responsibility is to save the other car passenger as well. So the deformation should be in both sides. So whenever we design <clears throat> the car, these considerations should be there uh, to uh, uh, to design in a way. Okay. So this is one of the thing. Uh, so the requirements are. Uh, high strength and stiffness. So I, I believe people uh, understand what is the difference between strength and stiffness. Uh, it should be lightweight. Yes, because we are in competitive, uh, competitive uh, zone and uh, every car, uh, if we want to improve its dynamic, we, we want to make it light. Now we are coming with electric where the efficiency plays also a very important role if your car is not light so those things are really considerable in uh, many area so right now we we compromises on uh, uh, many zone like on cost versus uh, like uh, weight of the car so that is one of the factor 
uh, with this we have many material which is getting introduced that is uh, aluminium uh, sometimes uh, magnesium uh, and uh, sometimes we are using casting components so that we can reduce few of the weights in few of the zones uh, comfortable space is yes one of the high requirement whenever we are buying a car the luxury and the space uh, is what we are looking for aesthetic and aerodynamic look yes so aesthetic look is one of the factor aerodynamic look uh, plays a very important uh, role in terms of the dynamics of a car because uh, the drag coefficient should be very much lesser in uh, in to enhance the uh, efficiency that is one of the things so with aerodynamic we have the other other factors other components which plays important role like orvm the doors and the hood bumper those are the other factor uh, components so this is about introduction. So BIW construction, yes, it has been designed in many way. Uh, that is, we call sometimes monocoque. Uh, the, what the component which you see in my right, that is a monocoque structure. We have space frame structure, which is like a buggy car with all the uh, pipes welded together. With uh, We have not kept this picture. Uh, we have uh, uh, this monocoque structure is like uh, uh, you might be seeing any car, uh, like any of your hatchback, SUV, sedan cars, whatever passenger car you see, yeah, it's a monocoque structure. We have body in frame construction. So generally we see those kind of construction in trucks, trucks and bus, but many cars are also there, uh, like passenger cars, like old Innova, uh, like old Scorpio, those structures are uh, on, uh, on, frame um, frame on uh, chassis on frame that kind of way so that is the difference uh, we have it space frame we don't have uh, cars uh, in market uh, those cars are like uh, made for specially races and other purposes so biw has been divided into three major zone that is underbody upper body and closers so uh, here you can see, uh, so this component is under body, which is the platform uh, like underneath of the car, which holds all engine unit, passenger unit and uh, uh, axle unit. So I believe people, people are raising hand. So there are any question, Karthik, uh, can you help me to answer brief the questions? Uh, yes, uh, so like as of now, we don't have any questions, uh, Mr. Sumit. Oh, okay. Yeah. So please, uh, please let me know if there is any question so that you can brief me and I will answer it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is what underbody we have it. As I told you, under, uh, this is, uh, we have engine compartment, engine unit where we place our engine motor nowadays and uh, front all chassis units. We have front floor where we have our front passenger sitting. Okay, so in this two channels, what you can see it here, here where is our seat is getting mounted. We have a tunnel assembly. Okay, and then we have a rear floor where our rear seat is been mounted. The rear passenger seat uh, is been mounted. So if we have seven, uh, three row seating, so second and third row both will be mounted on this. So underneath the rear passenger seat, uh after the biw we uh, below the biw we have uh, the fuel uh, system the fuel tank which has been placed so here where, where we keep our spare wheels so these are the zones how it has been decided so we have a uh, body side uh, upper body upper body is uh, all together assembled with uh, body sides and uh, a roof so this is uh, the definition of upper body. So upper body takes around 20 to 30 percent of the load of the total crashes whenever we, it happens. So from shotgun, it transfer all the loads from a pillar shotguns to a pillar, a pillar distributed to the top a pillar, then bottom a pillar from wheels and from shotgun it distributed to the sill zone, and from center it has been transferred from doors to b pillar. 
So here we have different zones. I will explain you in upcoming slides. What are those? So that is how we will go ahead. And then we have closer. The components would get closed, open and closed. Those are we call closer. So uh, we have hood. We have doors, front door, rear door. We had trunk lid, which is at the back. So this is uh, how the closer components have been done. We have fuel lid also as a closer component. And we have fender because fender is not getting welded with the body. It is being bolted with the body. So this is all the style surfaces uh, or the closing uh, objects which get onto the body. So this is, these are the BIW components. Moving ahead. Okay. So as we told, we, we have underbody which holds the motor zone. So these are the motor uh, compartment zone. We have a central uh, zone where we have the seats and then we have a rear zone where we have the rear seats and the uh, other uh, like the wheels, spare wheels, rear seat and uh, fuel tank, uh, fuel uh, tank mounting brackets. So those are the components we have it in here. We have rocker uh, panels, which is underneath so that whenever the car hits on the bumps, so those frames does not let the car got, get damaged. So those panels, we keep it. So we have these components. So here, if you can see the nomenclature on all the areas, uh, the name of the components. So we have upper body where we call this zone, uh, the straight zone as a pillar. So just whenever you see a car, consider it as a box or a uh, or a cuboid something, which has to be framed in a way that it should not it should have a good torsional rigidity and all. So we we have pillars. We call it A pillar. We B pillar. Here we have C pillar and many SUVs or uh, bigger SUVs. We have D pillar also. Okay, just to enhance the stiffness of the car, we have these kind of pillars. Uh, we what uh, indoors uh, we have a pillar and, and a cant rail going from front to the end of the all the pillars. This is the pillar which distributes loads uh, from the crashes and transfer it to uh, all the pillars. At the same time, is maintain the stiffness throughout and strength. So we have roof uh, pillars uh, which are joined together so that. Uh, it will be a closed volume uh, joint so that the vehicle uh, should sustain very good amount of uh, stiff, uh, torsional stiffness uh, test and all. Okay, so this is all about uh, the part nomenclature. When we talk about, as I told you, body side outer, A, B, C pillar, D pillar, wheel houses, yes, we have at the back and in underbody, we have it in the front. Okay, door rings which we have explained you already and quarter and quarter panels uh, these panels where which is inside and it's a big volume where uh, we have our suspension mounted and that is uh, uh, also uh, stiffening or uh, restraining that area wheelhouse zone we have roof uh, roof skin as i have explained and those roof cross members which are holding uh, and it is getting welded uh, with the root outer so that uh, the sheet of the root roof uh, should uh, get stiffen and it, sh it should not wobble. So it, it should not vibrates or flutter because of the wind and all. So that's why we keep uh, cross members. So this cross member even transferred the loads from one end to other end uh, in all the nodes load nodes and uh, then also if sometimes we feel there are some fluttering noise so we add extra members just to avoid the flutterings okay so here you can see some more explanation b pillar and underbody component via closed section so you can see how the uh, section is been closed together and uh, so that uh, that it it should work as a rib cage okay you can see b pillar okay and this is the car where uh, which is uh, like 
which have full panoramic type of sun uh, roof so that you you can see there is no b uh, cross member and here as the sunroof we have it uh, so that it's a glass panel so it don't flutter so that's why we don't provide the cross members and we what we do we make one big panel which is connected together so that this zone will be stiffen in uh, stiffen in a good manner okay so we have a very good strong member in here uh, these are the type of different steels what we use it so all part with gray you can see quarter panel zone okay uh, the dashboard zone the call top uh, the floor these are the miles filled with 300 to uh, 300 to 400 mps uh, uh, yield you can see high strength steel with uh, blue color so those are the just uh, load uh, uh, components with 600 MPa somewhere there, very high steel components. So these are the components which is being used in the junctions and where we don't need compression. These are the area uh, we need it to uh, uh, it to absorb, not compress. It will sustain the loads. Okay, so those component it goes around 900 MPa till 900 MPa extra high strength steel you can see all the connecting steels uh, if, if you can see here yeah, we have this uh, front uh, seat mounting brackets those are extra high strength steel 1200 mpa uh, ultra high strength steel this are the area where, from where the load is getting transferred through, throughout the body so these are around 1500 mpa and all the aluminum structure you can see marked in green so these things we need it to be compressible. So this is all about the component and its material, which we are using uh, in car. Till here, do we have any question? Uh, so we have one question from uh, Chandu. Uh... Uh, Mr. Sumit, uh, so is it possible to cast the BIW using casting process? Yes, uh, we uh, many uh, car makers started making it. So the thing we have to understand is like why not all the comp all the component has to be casted. The lead time of making a casted component is high, and it has a huge machines uh, which which for which uh, like. We, the lead time is more huge machineries which cost us more and if there is small defects the component will be rejected so the yield is also less okay so these things we have to understand even and second thing is these components are cool down components so uh, we have to keep it in the that particular tool have to be is been occupied for a longer time because the component is getting cooled down Okay, so that is why Tesla tried that in a mega factory that they are doing it, but uh, till now it's not a successful thing uh, to make the entire body. But yes, some components they are assembling, like if you can see in the suspension tower zone, yes, they are making as a one cast unit, same as in all the suspension tower zone and other zones also they are making. So they are making it, it in bit and pieces but not the complete vehicle in uh, in a in a way yes great uh, nice uh, so the second question is from uh, uh, priya lagarwal uh, so from back torsion come into the car torsion yes it's coming from the wheels like yes if we have banking uh, on on roads so just imagine you are driving so we are having a vertical uh, loads coming on vehicles so um, because your front wheel is turning, uh, it has steering, um, but the real wheel doesn't. So it directly takes the loads. So mm -hmm. that is how it has, it is being transferred and the stiffness is getting uh, enhanced in the body, torsional stiffness. Torsional loads okay. are coming on the cars. We, we will give uh, those briefing in upcoming slides. Yeah, great. So you can go ahead. Uh, so much. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is all the components which we have explained you uh, part by part in uh, BIW. 
so uh, going ahead we have this other components we have tunnel zone we have front front wheel arch and rear wheel arch we have tow board is the dashboard or hill board the floor board uh, these are the components so biw design okay so what we do we we have two different approach so how we how we make the cars so first what we do our style team uh, they will a scan uh, they will make a uh, like a clay model of the car okay so that clay model uh, they will discuss they will bring the marketing team marketing team uh, will give a, a brief like okay this kind of cars we need in market there is a vacuum in market for this kind of car so they will ask the supply uh, the design or styling team not design team the styling team like okay this is what we want so they will design something similar so it can be a hatchback they will design one sedan they will design one uh, uh, suv those kind of cars and then the top management and the stakeholders will take a decision okay which kind of vehicle we will go ahead with so when they say yes we will go ahead with this vehicle then they will start making the clay so in clay it plays a very important role because many things come bringing from virtual to reality they will understand okay these things are not achievable these things are achievable so on that goal that also have a milestones so when they make it from then then from there clay they will extract the class a surfaces which we call it styling surface or uh, those surfaces has been given it to designer so then designer will start making the complete uh, like the style a surface from there they will start start making the inner panel uh, the other volumes we will solve this surface sometimes the surfaces what we get is not good uh, in design perspective they have they have some topological error they have some uh, errors on uh, tangency connectivity so we solve those surface that is our part of the job and this is how we uh, bring from the we made the transformation okay so here you can see some of the components which we use on side doors so these many components these are the all hardware components which we are using on side doors okay so this is all about it yes somebody have asked me about this question uh, load analysis on uh, biw uh, so this is yes the loads which are going on the on the roads are from the wheels okay braking suspension these are the factors which involve you have your angle we have pitching we have yawing those are the factors um, by which and then yes crash is there so stiffness of spring plays a very important role uh, in this area even the wheels uh, sometimes you might have experienced people are changing wheels to a different ratio which has been designed uh, from where it has been designed so on those you will see the effort of steering is more uh, the suspending is little different it can be better so those kind of uh, vehicle dynamic changes you can feel it okay because of those kind of changes but we do lot of iteration studies to do uh, bring a uh, best combination in this area okay torsional loads as i have explained you when we are having uh, like you can see uh, this is the situation how we all area have different different direction one is going down one is going up this is going up this is going down and the yaw is also playing with this x direction uh, we are putting the force so then it happen and the practical example i have told you this happens in banking this happening in hard turning those kind of condition this happens okay going ahead okay so biw design uh, as i have explained you how we go ahead this is the uh, stylings what we do it okay and then we go and we do the cross sectional of the shape optimization every area we make some shape design and we optimize it how it can be uh, we do some crash optimization as well where we understand which area how the load is been transferred and then we make we benchmark the different other cars or we have our own platform cars from there 
we optimize it more and then we bring the cart okay then this is how it is going uh, the uh, the complete journey from step 1 to step 3 uh, the optimal cart body okay so this is how it goes so in the complete response we checks stiffness strength durability and vh and crash worthiness of the complete body so this is how we do the design uh, method <clears throat> yes so biw fabrication these are the methods which, by which we are doing uh, biw fabrication that is stamping sheet metal component fabrication deep draw blanking piercing trimming shearing mechanical and hydraulic uh, presses jigs fixture and dies for fabrication these are something which we are using so this is just an image image to illustrate okay how it is so we have this kind of bends we have uh, hat bends so uh, we even do rolling components which has been used in cars okay so uh, we do welding to close the volume and join uh, as a joinery uh, we design stiffener uh, to enhance the stiffness on the zone so majorly for fabrication these are the process which we are using we use lot of welding uh, process to uh, weld our car those are resistance spot welding manual spot welding robotic spot welds, riveting, bonding, laser brazing, laser welding. So resistant spot welding is, yes, is the same uh, spot welding feature where we join two or maximum three components. We are not joining four components uh, uh, on any of the BIW component until it is not been, it is not been advisable some area when we get struck, we are doing those, but that is not been advisable and those strength we don't have confident that it may sustain or it may it may fail so uh, that's why we never recommend four spots weld four metal welded together as a spot we provide zigzag method of welding like we provided we provide notches and we do it but majorly we go with two two uh, metal and three metal we have manual spot welding yes um, majorly supplier side we they do uh, the uh, manual spot welding uh, because robotic spot welding is very costly process. Robotic spot weld is on the line. This is an example where you can see all components are robotic welded. Okay, we have riveting. Yes, everybody might be knowing for aluminum components and other small, small components to fix. We use riveting, but rivetings are not being used as a load carrying um, joinery method in automotive we use bonding uh, like on doors if you can see we are doing using hemming with inner panel and outer panel so for that we are using abrasive uh, like a mastic so that is we are bonding together uh, we have laser brazing in some of the components laser welding we are using in like doors inner panel we have two different metal joined together uh, of two different thickness uh, we are doing those kind of welding and you can see it on doors you can see it on a pillar you can see it on b pillar so those are the zones where we can see it so this is all about welding uh, process which we are using in biw so we have biw fixture design fixture is used for positioning uh, uh, we have different different fixtures. Uh, we have positioning fixture uh, to locate the part in assembly such a way that it will come to the correct position. The example which you can see, it's a checking uh, fixture. It's a check fixture where we see uh, like this is uh, this deals with uh, quality team. So after making the component, we put it in check fixture. Not all the components the test uh, the first line of components or two or three components from middle randomly we pick it and we put it in check fixture just to understand uh, how the process is going sometimes a uh, tool gets chip off or some issues on tool so just to check whether everything is on good note 
or not we have this checking fixture we have pilot uh, pins where we put it we check all the important dimension which has been needed with the help of shims uh, on checking fixture we have welding fixture when we need two three component to weld together uh, for that purpose we are having uh, welding fixture we have intricate assemblies just we have robotic grippers to bring component from one station to another station we have checking and setting fixture which i have told this is one of them we have subtle system and conveyor to transport the material from one station to another station so this is how it has been done yes this has been this way is been done in a way to produce mass components uh, pro, we are using production fixture so that the errors uh, will be minimal uh, the fixtures are also being used so that the speed of the components uh, joinery will be fast and in good quality we have pre production and operation fixtures we have even checking fixtures after the complete uh, uh, joinery process we uh, do these kind of fixtures to check whether the components have been aligned in the proper manner or not. So this is all about the things. So I am done. Yes. So you can bring with your question. Uh, you can come up with your question. I love to answer those. Uh, great, Mr. Sumit. Uh, so like, you know, we'll go with a few uh, questions. All right. Uh, so I have like, you know, uh, one question uh, from just a minute. Uh, from Kamesh. Mm -hmm. So BAW is only for automotive or any other design structure can be called as BAW. Actually, uh, it is a name which has been given uh, to passenger car unit, but there is nothing such thing. Uh, the there are a lot of definition. If you can enroll in internet, you will get it. BAW, why we call it because the body is painted in white, but nothing like that. The first time when they, they started the ED code uh, process, like cater process, electronic deposition, that is one of the process. So before, uh, like they bring all the components, like when the co components comes together, like before adding all uh, trims and chassis components, trims, component, chassis component, glass, and other components. So they, they had the code word, like, this component is com com this complete assembly is coming from CD coat. Okay, not being uh, after paint, and then they have been uh, aligned into the shop. Uh, so they are in that way they have phrased it. In trucks they are calling it cabin in white. Okay, because they don't okay. call it bo uh, body, they call it cabin. So they call mm -hmm. it cabin in white. Okay. okay. Uh, in uh, commercial vehicles, they, the load bodies, they call it load body in white. So these are the different, different phrases or uh, names which uh, people are using in uh, different, different companies. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Great. Uh, so the next question is from Akash. So can we make, make a car using composite materials? Yes, we are making. We are making okay. a lot of composite uh, composite material cars. Like if you mm -hmm. can say uh, the Bugatti or Remac, the or even Tesla uses some of the composite materials. Yes, mm -hmm. that is possible. Okay. But you have to understand why uh, why you are using composite mm -hmm. materials. Like it is it, it makes the car lighter. Yes, but the lead time to make those components are huge. So just imagine you have a volume requirement like alto or like mm -hmm. uh, india top selling car that is like okay you can say wagon or something mm -hmm. so with composite material you can't uh, produce that volume because the lead time of the components are huge okay, okay for the components so if you you have some stamp component stamp component lead time is just for 20 to 30 seconds for one mm -hmm. step okay so in one minute you can get the component ready if it is in a uh, machine layout, uh, like it's in a robotic layout. Okay, but for uh, composite material, the process is huge. We do vacuum uh, uh, closing. We use adhesive. The adhesive should be stick good. There should not be any air. Lot of process. So that's the reason we are not using in uh, all the passenger cars. Yes. Uh, great. 
so the next question is from uh, subhash so what kind of load will uh, like you know car, what kind of load will act in car body when the car is in motion when applying brakes see whenever we are applying brakes you have to understand we are de accelerating our vehicles okay so one of the thing is like yes our suspensions will be starting uh, uh, impacting and uh, because suspension is the first thing which is get impacted so those de acceleration so what is your uh, car pitch ratio you have decided uh, how that is the reason why our suspension towers are also been intact together with other agents so that and it is uh, dependent together so that whenever we have this kind of stiff braking okay so the component should be stable okay, okay so yeah. this mm -hmm. is how we do it in cars great uh, so next question is from uh, manas kumar so what is uh, the role in press tool in body structure press tool are huge yeah. all the components have been made in uh, press tools okay uh, great uh, so so the next question is from chandu uh, so without welding is there any process to join the body yes in uh, actually uh, yes we have lot of process we have uh, uh, riveting we have clinching we have uh, uh, like uh, bonding but uh, uh, welding is one of the efficient way even you know uh, even with aluminium also we are doing aluminium two spot welding so because okay. this process is very fast and it joins it together and it doesn't require a lot of material see just take an example i am i want to join two components okay how welding is been done like we have the same material we put it together and we put just anode and cathode and we press it and the welding is been done but just imagine what what if we want to do riveting then in the components mm -hmm. we have to do the holes okay the holes should match then we will put the rivet gun and then we take it so we have so many process coming into play right so same way when mm -hmm. we do adhesive bonding or something we have one paste okay then the paste has to be uh, spread in good and then both components should be pressed together in a good manner so that there is no air uh, there should not be any uh, air gap on those areas and we have some oven time also to make it more stiffer so okay. mm -hmm. in all together if you will say the most efficient way is to weld it together great yes uh and next question is from uh, adar so what is the main difference in bw of conventional family cars and race cars supercars supercar yes that what is the material where it plays a important role the conventional cars mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the regulations are very stiffer so if you can see a uh, lot of passenger car we have lot of regulation, regulation in different different countries for sports car the regulations are entirely different the because the dynamics is entirely different you are not keeping your entire family it should carry only two people or three people so uh, weight is not the factor all about performance so we have some performance car and we have some facility car so we material will play an important role dynamics will play an important role okay so this is what how we do it okay uh, great uh, so like the next question is from uh, subhash is there any device to check the stability of bw spot welding parts uh, we do st stability of spot welding see for spot welding mm -hmm. we we have ec14 those kind of test where we we test our spots uh, we have different different spots uh, gun uh, with spots dia so for different different tonnage of loads for different different thickness we have different different uh, pressure to apply so those are all company standards we have lot of standards to follow this kind of weld but very hard to explain you with spot the dynamics what was the question uh, so basically um sorry it's been just a minute Uh, I think it actually disappeared somewhere. Oh, okay. uh, so what I understood is like with the spot, the uh, 
like uh, mm -hmm. support or something uh, dynamics something so it doesn't play yeah is there any device to check the stability of pa uh, st spot welding parts uh, stability no uh, i they might be having i don't know about it but okay. uh, there is no use to check the spot stability mm -hmm. yes okay uh, great uh, so next question is from um, uh, abilaj so can we use baw in bus body yes uh, actually again bus body mm -hmm. we call it space frame body because we have a lot of rod welded together and then we have panels to be joined so mm -hmm. we call it as other name if in bus you are going to use this many component it will be a very bulky bus which you mm -hmm. don't need they what they do it they have tubular structure okay because what we see bus as a rectangular box altogether okay it doesn't mm -hmm. have lot of styling in sides but in car mm -hmm. we have styling we have curves lot of things aerodynamic lot mm -hmm. of factors so that's why do to maintain those shapes it's very hard to make it from pipes and all okay that's okay. why we have this components rolling but in bus we can easily achieve those shapes with the tubes and we can bend it in front if you can see the complete front panel and the rear panel of the bus is the entire different panels but other all okay. panels are the similar panels mm -hmm. okay. yes okay. uh next question is from bin uh, so what is the what are the most commonly used softwares in baw in designing process uh, we use this uh, like depends on company like if you see uh, uh, major companies they are using katia and unigraphics uh, i can give mm -hmm. you some examples like uh, reno uses Ren uh, katia whereas nissan we have collaboration in india of uh, in in india with reno and nissan not in india uh, all over the globe but these two company being together under the same hut they are using two different softwares so it okay. depends on their plm how they are going to maintain it and uh, how they are going doing it from past so katia is been used by reno ford now ford is migrating into nx uh, mahindra okay. uh, tata motor somewhere so these are the com these are the companies we are using wherein nx that is mm -hmm. uh, 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 nissan Mercedes, so mm -hmm. this FCA and Stel and uh, PSA uses Katia, yes. So okay. this is how it has been uh, divided. So mostly mm -hmm. NX and Katia, yes. Okay, great. Uh, so next question is from Pavan. So I'm currently working in Toyota in a new project called Innova High Cross. Mm -hmm. So I'm in quality department in BAW. Can I go to other company by being in quality department? Yes, you can. Uh, we can always restart the comp um, mm -hmm. anytime. Uh, but you have to understand like uh, what experience you bring it from there. So mm -hmm. if you are trying to come jump from quality directly to component design, so mm -hmm. you bring some knowledge from that. Yes, but you have to start from product designing thing see uh, quality department whatever process department they they always uh, think about the component when the component has been made the design has been made but the product okay. team like the new npd team new product design team they are mm -hmm. thinking on the component where there is no component okay. so there are two different parts Okay, so mm -hmm. you, yes, you can always jump in to product design, but yes, it will be a fresh start. Yes, okay, your okay. past experience will support, but it mm -hmm. won't support you much. Okay, great. Uh, so next question is from Abin. So how will the BAW roof components be changing from a car with panoramic sunroof to a normal car with no sunroof? So you can see it here. Uh, it's a com example of a panoramic sunroof okay mm -hmm. in right and in left you can see it with no sunroof you have uh, cross members uh, all together okay uh, which will be joining so mm -hmm. uh, joining so why we have uh, this cross member and in there we don't have it uh, so here because the panoramic sunroof is of glass material so it don't flutters because it is itself it's a strength uh, strengthy material okay and the stiffness is also high because of the frames what we use it all together 
but in here when just imagine we don't have any uh, cross members to support the members mm -hmm. and the part is does a part doesn't have good strength and stiffness okay. so it flutters it will flutter and the load will be not transferred the joinery will be not good that's why you use cross members in passenger cars if you can see okay. it here mm -hmm. and in a panoramic it will be member one big member joined together mm -hmm. with the glass in the top okay great uh, so one final question because it's already been time i will just like you no know, we'll uh, wrap it up with another like two or three questions uh, so from akshay so what is better frameless door or frame door and why sorry i didn't uh, get the last part okay uh, so which one is better either frameless door or frame door frameless door or frame door okay so this is uh, okay you mean to say sasless door or sas door so yeah. uh, panel door uh, so we have basically three types of door one is uh, panel door one is sasless door one is sas type door so see now when the style is not one of the major criteria then yes panel type door and panel type door have a very own benefits because it's more stiffer and all but when this chrome mm -hmm. plating and good styling comes on doors then this sas uh, sas uh, type doors came now people mm -hmm. even using sasless doors so for that we are making things stiffer on the top on the a pillar zone when we don't have any any frame in here now we make this area to be more stiffer okay okay so that is how we design the components great mm so and basically uh, basically there is no comparison because for every design we have a criteria to proceed okay yeah great uh, so one final question from madhu uh, madhu sudhanan is uh, what are the tools uh, that are used for bake management of cars bake management okay yeah. so for baking uh, like okay we we do dipping like that is ced uh, we are using a component uh, coating like uh, mm -hmm. zinc coating sometimes we are galvanizing co coating and all uh, for baking of paint uh, that is like oven with 90 degree to 140 degree temperature that okay. is what we are doing and if you are your question is something towards sintering so yes those we use very few components of sintered uh, in some of the zones but uh, uh, not in like not in very huge volume Okay. And that is going uh, like we are trying to uh, reduce that also because of the lead time of that particular component. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, so just a minute. So one final question is from uh, Abhishek. So which design tool is excellent to design BAW like either Katia or Creo? Creo, uh, see, uh, as I, I already answered this question, this has been used. Mm -hmm. See, uh, this is just an interface uh, designing doesn't need a software to be ex uh, to express we need software because we think mm -hmm. something in our mind and to bring it on to the table so now the second okay. thing is what kind of software company is using okay mm -hmm. so with respect to that we have to have our expertise so either of the software creates car makes car and mm -hmm. okay. if if i'm expert having expertise in both we can design easily one component, same component in both softwares in the same time. Okay, great, 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 great. Uh, so uh, great, Mr. Sumit. Uh, so like, you know, you made uh, like you know, almost all the questions uh, in the chat box, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so we also have like, you know, a couple of non-technical questions regarding to the program, what we provide. All right, uh, so I just like, you know, take care of it. Okay, so thanks for uh, this wonderful session from your end. That's all, and thanks for joining the session with us. Thank you, Karthik. Thank you. So thank you, thank you, Mr. Sumit.